Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I have something a little bit different for you all. I'm going to be filming decorating my monthly pages for May, which I don't normally do. I normally just do it on my own time, but I wasn't really feeling like doing a weekly plan with me this week, so I'm just gonna do a monthly one instead, switch it up a little bit. So here are the main things that I track on my monthly pages. I keep track of what book I'm reading or what book I finish. In April, I finished reading Dracula. That's a book that I kind of had to read because I mean, I've read it before too, but the class that I tutor was using it, so I needed to finish reading it to remember what happened because it's been a couple years since I finished reading it. Uh, I also track what hikes, what days we hike. So in April, I guess we got three good hike days in. I'm filming this on this day. And also, I was tracking a lot of vaccine related things in April because um, in April, vaccines slowly became available to anyone. Who wanted to sign up for one in california um, it started april 1st with people 50 and older which was great news because that meant my mom could get vaccinated and then on the 15th it opened up to everyone 16 and older which is great because my youngest sister is 17 so that means we all are getting our shots woo shots shot 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 anyway i'm done uh and then also nathan and i both got our second dose of our vaccine and we our vaccines were fully effective at the end of april so that was kind of exciting um, other things that I mark here are any like one-off events. So I work at a writing retreat once a month, some months in during the semester. So I need to mark that because that's kind of out of the ordinary for me, for my schedule. I track the YouTube videos that I upload. So I've really only been doing one video a week this month. Sorry about that. There just has not, I get really busy this time of the semester. And then I also keep track right now of what month we are on with our kitty cat. So April 27th is three months with our cat. So that those are the things that I have been tracking and that's what I've been really liking. Also paydays, but like I feel like that's super common. So yeah, so let's flip to May. So I use post-it notes a lot in my planner just to kind of remind me of things that I want to put on stickers in my planner and also just to kind of like plan ahead and have the option to move things around. So you'll notice over here, I have like post-it notes for like planning a Hawaii trip. That is kind of far in the future for now. I think I wrote that post-it note sometime early last year before the world changed fundamentally. So I, I don't really know when I'm gonna plan a Hawaii trip, buy a plane ticket or buy more stickers. So I'm just gonna put those ones aside. Other things I might remove. Um, these are all sorts of things that I want to do this month. They don't have to happen this month, but um, it might be nice to go to the beach. I haven't been to the beach since January of 2020. That sounds weird. Like people would be like, you go to the beach in January? In California, yes. <laughs> Not like bikini weather, but like walk on the beach weather. Uh, other things we might try to go to downtown Disney because there's like a Star Wars store that opened up there. Also their Lego store is pretty cool if you like Lego. And we might be having a picnic with some of, well, our former roommates actually, but I don't know what day we're doing that. I also have this with a bunch of errands of places that I want to go now that we're vaccinated. I really subscribed to the, if I don't absolutely have to go do this, I won't do it in person during this time. So there's a lot of thing, places I want to go, like Michael's and Home Goods and places like that, where it's like, I don't really have to go there, so I'm not going to, but uh, I feel a little more comfortable now. Other things I'm gonna move, I don't think I'm gonna mark Star Wars Day on my monthly view. I'll put it in my weekly view, but I don't think it needs to also be on the monthly view. I'm gonna move this Bill Do to where it belongs in the weekly view. Sorry, please hold, because I don't really care to mark that twice. And I think that's it. The other thing is that I keep track of what weekly sticker kits I'm going to use. Before the month starts, I just keep them all on the month that they belong to. And then once the month starts, I'll move them to the week. I just kind of want to have a general overview of like where I have gaps and where I might need to buy stickers. I, I try not to buy more than I need. 
So let me move these and I'll come back and we'll decorate with some washi and stickers. Okay, so in May is my birthday, so a lot of times I'll do really fancy themes for the May monthly or like I always default to floral. Everyone defaults to floral for May. I decided I'm going to use cats for my birthday this year. So I have this scotch washi tape that has cats on it and then I'm going to supplement it with this kind of like magenta purple washi because there's a little bit of like magenta flowers in the cat washi. This is from Michaels. So I'm going to go ahead and put those on this side and I will be right back. All right, so then the other thing in the margins to put in uh, is a section to write in whatever it is that I'm reading and I think I'm just going to use this currently reading sticker from Oh Hello and put that up here. I've also used other stickers from this sheet to mark you know pretty much the same thing but since I have one more currently reading sticker I'm going to use that. Uh, what am I in the middle of reading right now? I'm in the middle of reading a really long Victorian novel called The Woman in White that was published around 1860-ish, um, but I'm thinking about picking up a shorter book or maybe one of my books of poetry that I haven't read just to kind of like get that satisfying like win of finishing something short because um, I'm kind of slogging through this long, long novel, but we'll see. Then I'm going to mark my paydays, so I'll get checks on the, the 3rd, the 10th, in the 15th. You'll know this if you watched my budget video. But yes, I'll put in my paydays. These are from a shop that bleh, can't talk. Sorry. These are from a shop that doesn't, I don't think she sells stickers anymore. Um, so yeah, no big deal. I'm still using these up and I'm using this bright magenta color that I normally would not use because it'll match that washi. So that's kind of cool. And then I think I get paid on my birthday. Because <laughs> normally I'd get paid on the 15th for that job, but the 15th is Saturday. And I think I checked the pay calendar correctly. So that would be cool if I got paid on my birthday. I remember when I had a bi-weekly paycheck job, um, some years I would get paid on my birthday. Well, there must have been some year where my birthday was on a Friday and I got paid that day and I think I took that day off too. Because I, at that job I got my birthday as a holiday. So that was kind of nice. Um, okay, so then what else is going on this month? Um, we're going to transition now to something not so fun. Um, May 5th, 2015, our, first, our family's first dog passed away. So I like to commemorate that every year with what we call Harrison Memorial Day. And <laughs> my family, we're interesting. Um, Growing up, my siblings and I, we had a government. My brother, who is the second oldest, I'm the oldest, he's the second oldest. We both kind of have interesting power complexes. I'm just kidding. Um, we were kind of in charge of the government and I forget who was president of the government in 2015, but we decided to issue like a proclamation about Harrison Memorial Day because this is the day he passed away in 2015. And the thing is that you get to eat or do like literally whatever you want that day, within reason, obviously, because that is what Harrison would want. <laughs> he would want you to eat whatever you want and he would want you to do whatever you want on that day because that's what he wanted for himself. So that's Harrison Memorial Day. Then last year, and I talked about this last year, our second dog passed away. She was really old. Uh, 14, which is pr really old for their breed, Springer Spaniels. That's like kind of the end of their lifespan, unfortunately. Um, she passed away May 20th last year, so May is kind of a tough month. Also in May 2015, Nathan's, one of Nathan's family's dogs passed away too, so that was like a few weeks after that. So that was sad too. Um, so. I have these. These are from Planning Made Easy, I think. I bought these a million years ago. I don't even know if she makes stickers anymore, actually. And then these are from Fox and Cactus, and I feel like these both reflect how those two dogs looked. So Madison passed away uh, May 20th last year. So, you know, I got a lot of pet memorials right here. And then Nathan's cat, actually, um, 
passed away like last week, so it's in April, so when I'm filming this, so anyway. <sighs> Moving on, um, the TPC sale starts on Thursday, May 6th, and the only reason I need to mark that is that I do PR for Itty Bitty Sticker Co., and they will be in the sale, so I'm actually going to mark that with a Molly cat uh, from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. So check them out if you're looking to buy some things during the sale. I know this is a weird transition from my dogs both died, because dogs die. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna mark that with a Molly. Just to remind myself. I believe it runs through this whole weekend. So check that out. And then what else? This is the last week of classes, but I'm not gonna mark that. That's in my work calendar. Let's mark my birthday. Let's move on to something like a little happier. <laughs> so I'm gonna use, I think this birthday cake sticker from last year's planner. I didn't use up all of the stickers in my planner last year. So this is an interesting color combination. <laughs> I'm going to put this birthday cake in there and like, do I also want to use the happy birthday sticker? It's the same color. Gosh, it is really hard to pull things up with the nails I'm currently wearing. I think I just ripped that sticker. Okay, there we go. Please don't rip. Why are you not cut through? I don't, okay. <laughs> Let's kind of layer this maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna layer it like this, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, that looks cool. I like that. All right, so that's my birthday. It's on a Friday, which is kind of fun. What's not so fun is that I have a ton of grading, whoops, to do in the weeks after my birthday. So, sorry, this fell on the floor. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna take my birthday off or if I'm gonna work on my birthday. We'll see. It's really up to me, but we'll see. And then nothing here, we have Madison. Uh, we have a community hour at my second job this day. So I'm going to mark that with a little asterisk from this sheet. This is from one of the Happy Planner teacher books. I didn't buy it, somebody was giving it away in my local planner meetup group, so I grabbed them. But yeah, I'm just gonna mark that with an asterisk. And then on the 22nd, I wanna mark this because it's kind of important and I might need to like adjust my plans at home around this. So Nathan is taking a certification exam for, uh, he's a planner urban planning. So he has a certification exam that day. Obviously he's taking it home it at home because of the current state of the world, so I'll need to figure something out for that day. And then grades are due this day. But the day before that, the 27th is 4 months with Genevieve, our kitty cat. So I'm going to take another Molly cat. That's what I call them from Itty Bitty Sticker Co. And these are so cute. Which one do I want to use? I guess there is kind of like a minty color one. I could use that, or I could bring in the pink. Mm. Let's use this one, this like teal, because I feel like I don't use that color a ton. Yeah, oh, that's so cute. Okay, awesome. So that'll be four months with Genevieve, and then grades are due this day. And I think I'm just going to mark that with a star. There are some grades due stickers in the teacher book, but um, they're not going to match this. So I'm just going to put this in. <laughs> I would love to be done with grades before the 28th, but uh, we'll see. And then most of the time, most months, we have a Zoom planner meetup, my local group um, on the last Sunday of the month, but I'm, that's not planned yet. We actually have one scheduled for today. And then I do need to file a new unemployment claim the day after grades are due because I'm a part-time lecturer, so I do qualify for unemployment. 
over the summer because I don't have a guarantee that I have work in the fall. They offer me classes and I say yes to them, um, but uh, they could cancel those classes at any time if people don't sign up for them. So that's that deal, but I'm not gonna mark that there. I know I need to do that. Okay, so what else do I need to add here? Basically, I just try to use up whatever I'm not using in my sticker stash so that I can get rid of it. So let me see if I can use some like floral stickers. I have like these random ones. I don't know if those match though. I could use like random cat stickers. <laughs> that could be fun. Um, yeah, those don't really match. It's like a close enough color, but not exact match. And I don't like when it's like almost matching, but not quite, you know what I mean? So I'll have to look for something else. Other than that, this is kind of how the month starts off for me. I will pull in some sort of stickers to mark the videos that I upload as I'm uploading them, but I don't, I don't plan that far ahead. Like I think this day, I'm probably uploading this video that you're seeing right now on May 5th. And then we'll see what else I upload this month. I feel like I've been doing a lot of videos, but really it's been equaling out to like one video a week. So I don't know. Most of the time you can expect a video from me on Wednesday, just FYI. So let me see if I have any other decoration that I can add. Okay, I have an idea. I have all of these random like cat stickers. A lot of these are from, actually uh, everything here is from Oh Hello at some point or another. And I'm just, I'm just gonna fill up my May calendar pages with kitty cats and paw prints because like, I just, I, I want cats for my birthday, I guess. Got that guy. Those two are really cute. Um, what about one more rule of thirds? That one's kind of big, actually. Um, this tabby guy. Yeah, that looks cool. And then I have some paw print stickers too that I think I'll use to fill in some space. They're pretty tiny. Uh, these are from My Little Pink Suitcase, which is the same shop that these Payday stickers were from, I think. Um, so what colors? Let's... Some, like, pink. Could be cute. That's a little higher. There we go. And then, like, use one of the teal ones. I don't know. <laughs> Bear with me. This is wacky spread that I'm doing. It's kind of funny. Let's do one more. Like, what even is this? Does this look good? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, dear. That is not going to come up. I kind of want to angle that a little bit more the other way, but I cannot pick up things with these nails to save my life. There we go. Okay, I wanna put this a little more, let's put it there. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, so this is my May monthly spread. Uh, let me go write everything in and you'll see the complete look. All right, so that is how a monthly spread looks at the beginning of the month. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. If you use your monthly pages, please leave me a comment below letting me know how you utilize these pages in your planner, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.